Hey sis, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I showed you guys a 10 minute powder foundation routine. So this is for those of you who do not want to use that liquid foundation, don't wanna pack on too much layers. This foundation routine still allows you to have a flawless full coverage look without packing on that extra layer, that extra liquid foundation. So if you are interested in how I achieve today's look, then just continue to watch. All right, sis, so we're starting off with bare skin. I did my brows off camera. So the point of a powder foundation routine is to avoid using any type of liquid foundation. So we still want that flawless canvas without that extra layer. I'm gonna show you guys an updated foundation routine using majority of Fenty products. So I am gonna start off by just priming my skin. And because we're going in with a lot of powder today, I do wanna use a more hydrating Primer. So what I'm taking is my Embrolee's Milk Primer. It's actually a moisturizer as well, but it is super hydrating. And I've actually been grabbing this as of recently. Outside, weather's been very cold and drying, so I've been trying to reach for a primer that's more so hydrating than mattifying. So my skin is primed. So I'm gonna go in with some concealer to conceal my dark under eyes and just any spots on my face as well. I'm gonna take the Fenty Bright Fix Concealer and this is in the shade Toffee. Just add two dots underneath my eye. So right now I'm spot correcting just anywhere I see any darkness or hyperpigmentation, I just want to conceal that. If you do have any dark spots or hyperpigmentation, you wanna make sure that it is being concealed before we go in with the powders. All right, so the goal is to make sure our canvas is an even skin tone before going in with our powders. So for highlighting today, I'm gonna take the Fenty Match Stick in Suede, and this is what I'm gonna use to just brighten up my complexion. And I'm gonna take my damp beauty sponge to blend it out. So to cream contour, I'm gonna take the Fenty Matte Stick in Espresso. And then we're just gonna go back in with the sponge to blend it out. All right, so now that we are officially done with the creams or any liquids that we used on our face, now is where the powders come into effect. So I'm gonna take the Fenty Banana Setting Powder, and this is going to set all of the highlighted areas everywhere I use the concealer. So 
So this is not Fenty, but you do want to set your contour as well. So I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Coco. All right, so this is the star of the show. Without this, you pretty much have nothing going on. Like you wanna finish up your powder foundation using an all over powder. So I'm gonna take the Fenty Pressed Powder, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation, and I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. This is gonna ensure that your harsh contour and everything blends in together and isn't just like there it literally brings everything together so that's it for the base guys i'm gonna do my eyes off camera finish up the liner and my lashes off camera and just show you guys the finishing look all right guys, so I applied my lashes off camera, did a classic wing liner and applied a nude lip. I did not touch my complexion. So from this point, you can leave it like this or you can go in with your blush or highlighter. I am gonna go in with some blush. So I'm gonna take the CoverGirl True Blend blush and just apply some color back to my complexion. I haven't been feeling highlighter lately, so I'm gonna leave it as a nice matte finish. So that is about it, guys. You still get a flawless, full coverage look without applying all of that liquid foundation. You can literally achieve the same look with powder. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed, make sure you are subscribed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.